Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I'm so excited to be making this video because my channel just hit over 360 subscribers and I'm so so thankful. So thank you to you guys who have been subscribing and supporting me. And of course if you are new here please feel free to subscribe and to help me get to my goal which is to get monetized and of course to say thank you to you guys i will be doing a giveaway or actually two giveaways one will be on my instagram and one will be here on my youtube as soon as i hit 400 subscribers so if you want to be part of that giveaway make sure to subscribe to my channel for more information as well as to follow me on instagram i will also be posting more updates on the giveaway there so with that being said let's jump into the video okay so today i want to test out drugstore concealers with different formulas different price points so you don't have to but before we go into testing all of these concealers I'd like to tell you a little backstory on my skin type. So I have a combination skin, which means I am very oily in my T-zone, so right here, and very dry on the outer edges of my face. So I tend to grab or gravitate more towards matte concealers, but there is a problem. I have somewhat dry under eyes, but very oily cheeks. So I need to get a concealer that will obviously cover up my dark circle so that is full coverage that is somewhat hydrating so it won't dry out my under eyes but that is self-setting so it won't slip off because of my oily cheeks so i had a range of around about six concealers that i looked at some i have actually reviewed on my channel before i will also link them down below and in the cart right up here and some i haven't actually um there are a few new ones and obviously a few older ones okay so the first concealer that i picked up is the la girl pro concealer this is an hd um, or high definition concealer and i'm 110 percent sure that everyone has used this concealer it is an essential in everyone's makeup kit just some general information about this concealer they claim that this concealer is available in 30 different shades it is crease resistant an opaque coverage creamy and lightweight and it will camouflage dark circles. It will also highlight and cover any imperfections. Looking at the packaging of this concealer, it's quite standard squeeze tube plastic and it comes with the attached brush. This concealer is quite standard. I applied one coat and I waited a little while for it to set on my skin before blending it out and it blended quite well quite quickly there was no streakiness no clumpiness or anything like that and it isn't a self-setting concealer so i do set it with a powder because it is actually hydrating it's not matte or anything like that and as you guys can see after i've blended it out medium to medium full coverage um, I did apply a second coat and you can see that it actually resulted in a full full coverage so the LA Girl Pro Concealer is actually one of my favorite concealers and I do use this on an everyday basis um, just for a natural concealed look and I also use this to have a more full coverage glam look where I apply maybe two two coats with a full coverage foundation. For the next concealer I picked up the Essence Camouflage Concealer. I did a review on this concealer before on my channel so obviously I'll have it linked down below as well as in the card if you are interested in watching my full in-depth review. But just a quick summary, this is the Essence Camouflage Concealer. This is the shade Light Rose. And the, this concealer is now expanded into 10 different shades. Essence previously only had, I think, three or four shades. The claims on this concealer is that it's supposed to be high coverage, waterproof, and it comes in two different formulas, which is matte and hydrating. The packaging is quite standard, round, thick plastic tube with an applicator. A teeny tiny and very flexible applicator so it actually can adapt to the shape of your under eyes as you guys can see this concealer is quite liquidy but creamy it is not thick or moussey like it is actually just nice and creamy it spreads very quickly blends out 
very very quickly it doesn't leave streakiness i had no irritation with this concealer because sometimes some drugstore concealers can be very irritating underneath my eyes had no problems with this one and blended out beautifully i would actually say that this concealer is more on the medium coverage if you have super super dark under eye circles as you guys can see with the second layer it actually became a little bit more full coverage um, than the first layer so it is buildable and it performs very nicely with other products such as foundation as well as powders so for the third concealer that i picked up it's the maybelline fit me concealer everyone raged about this concealer and it is a great concealer just a little summary of the claims on this concealer so it is available in 12 shades it claims to leave the skin perfected and it has various skin benefits the packaging is also quite standard just your normal skinny square tube with a teeny tiny doe foot applicator this is supposedly to be a dupe for the nars creamy concealer if i'm not mistaken this is one of those concealers that will forever, forever be a holy grail because it's just such a good concealer um, it is very natural as Maybelline claimed as you guys can see with the first application it is very light and airy it blended out super quickly it actually left a very nice natural looking finish I wouldn't say that it is a full coverage concealer but it is more on the medium side and it is super super easy to build up and to cover blemishes and or dark under eye circles so if you do layer it it actually builds up very nicely doesn't leave any streakiness any clumpiness it is by far one of the best no makeup makeup look concealers that i would suggest using also if you do have very dry under eyes this is quite a nice concealer to use because it is super hydrating and the formula doesn't contain any oil so if you have an oily skin or like me combination skin it will also be very beneficial for you if you use this concealer for the next concealer that i actually purchased from the drugstore this is the catrice camouflage concealer that it comes in the little pod so it's not the tube concealer i heard a lot of claims and i saw a lot of reviews on this concealer and how great it was so obviously i wanted to test out for myself um, and this was actually the first time i was using this concealer so just a quick little background on this concealer when i actually went into the store i only saw that it was available in three shades which was kind of disappointing to me because there's not only three types of skin in the world so i really do wish that catrice would have brought out more shades deeper shades especially this concealer claims you blend perfectly in with the skin it is waterproof it covers irregularities in the skin and it stays in place so it is a self-setting concealer or they claim it is a self-setting concealer it is long lasting with a high coverage looking at the packaging it's quite different from all of the other concealers it comes in a round little tube and you can either dip in your finger or use a brush um, so if you are a makeup artist and you would like to use this concealer it is quite hygienic to use because you can go in with a brush what i will say with this concealer is when i applied it i did apply it with my fingers because i felt the warmth of my fingers will kind of melt down or break down the concealer into a more liquidy or creamy consistency than this kind of thick type of feeling it did crease underneath my eyes and it felt like it wouldn't set by itself as you guys can see blended out with my fingers at first and then i went in with a sponge just to shear it out a little bit because it did feel a little bit thick underneath my eyes as if i do have something on my skin it felt like it only like sat on my skin and like i said i've trapped i had trouble blending it out a lot i did apply two layers for you guys to see what it would look like and it is full coverage like they claimed but i feel like it is too full coverage for me and felt a little bit cakey underneath my eyes i didn't like this concealer a lot but it does cover up other imperfections such as acne scars or any other imperfections that you may have i would definitely stay away if you have dry under eyes uh, because this does crease 
quite quickly. Then for my second last concealer, it is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I've done a full review on this concealer on my channel, so again, I will link it down below or in the card right here. Just to recap on this concealer, it is available in 18 different shades. This concealer claims to be lightweight but yet full coverage, blemishes and even out your dark circles. It has a matte finish that is self-setting, won't settle in your fine lines or pores. The packaging is also quite standard with the thick, short kind of round tube and the very large doe foot applicator. Just to recap from my previous video on this concealer, it is the formula is quite creamy. Um, the big doe foot applicator actually helps to cover more areas quicker on your face, so it will definitely benefit you in your makeup routine, especially in the mornings if you're late for work or class or whatever. And this is a cell setting concealer so you do have to work quickly when you apply this concealer blend it out immediately after applying it and as you guys can see the coverage is more of a medium full to full coverage i also applied two coats with this concealer and yeah like they said it didn't crease underneath my eyes didn't settle in my fine lines or in my pores and it is cell setting so I need not use a powder when using this concealer and it is definitely not drying underneath my eyes and for the last concealer this is the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer Concealer I saw a lot of rage and hype up um, videos on this concealer a lot of people claim that it is a tart shape tape dupe i don't know i don't own Todd shape tape but the packaging is quite similar as well as the doe foot applicator it is one of the biggest doe foot applicators that i have used ever so just a little summary on what l'oreal claims is considered to be it is available in 25 different shades it claims to be full coverage long wearing it has a matte finish the big doe foot applicator helps to apply enough product so you don't have to go back into the tube for a second time and they also state that this concealer goes a long way so a little goes a long way at first when i saw that sentence i was like you're yeah, right a little goes a long way but you guys a little does go a long way i think i only applied three or four dots underneath my eyes and I could have blended my entire face with this concealer or with that amount that I've placed on my face um, so that is very very true little does go a long way so this concealer will not only last you a very long time but as you guys can see it is super super full coverage I am wearing it today underneath my eyes the first application was quite of a high coverage to me I also applied a second layer just to see how it would have blend out um, and it is quite a full coverage concealer very very pigmented and it did dry down matte so it was kind of like a self setting concealer to me super creamy blended out so nicely there's no weird clumpiness or streakiness or like little specks or anything in this concealer I had no problems whatsoever with this concealer and it is actually becoming one of my favorite concealers. I would also definitely suggest if you have dry under eyes that you grab this concealer and maybe hydrate enough underneath your eyes before going in with this type of concealer because it is matte. I didn't set this concealer today and I think this concealer really does what L'Oreal claims it to do. It is also very highlighting or a very highlighted type of concealer. So you will look bright and awake while it covered up your darker circles. Okay, so a few things that I would like you to take from this video that I've also learned from doing or making this video is that you can't prime or prep your skin enough before applying concealers or even foundations that are super matte and I can't say this enough prepping is key or priming is key for your skin if you don't want to look super dried out or super wrinkly you have to hydrate and moisturize your skin enough or and in time for applying your makeup this will also change how the product sits on your face 
um, and how it blends out and how it performs. The second thing that I've learned from this video is there is enough and great makeup products out there, especially from the drugstore, and there are enough and great concealers from the drugstore. So you do not have to pay 400, 300 rand or how many dollars, whatever, to achieve the same look as you've seen with the actual tags or price points that I've added in the video. These concealers are quite affordable. I think the cheapest one was around about 60 Rand or something like that. And the most expensive one was the L'Oreal one and that costs me around about 120 or 30 Rand. So they are quite affordable. They do perform just as well as high-end concealers. And in full honesty, I will rather grab this four or five drugstore concealers uh, rather than buying something from a high-end shop. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, so that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really, really hope you guys could take something from this video to find your perfect concealer or concealers for your skin type as well as to cover or to cover up those dark under eye circles. Feel free to leave me any suggestions of concealers that you want me to try in the comments down below or your favorite concealers because I would love to know what you guys use and what you guys would suggest. And of course while you are there please don't forget to give me a thumbs up also subscribe if you haven't already and help me reach to a thousand subscribers we are just over 360 and i am once again so so thankful for you guys and also click that notification bell to get notified when i do upload new videos as well as any updates on the giveaway and until next time i hope to see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.